Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystic Ark! Last time, we found a couple books in the tower by the lake there, so let's give them to Professor Sirtis and see what he can tell us about them. I've also rearranged my party, as I have listed in the video description, for where we'll be going next. Yeah, we just found them lying around in the basement of that place. Not even a bookshelf or anything. Oh, what does a mirror do? Oh, really? Well, if you went to the town by the tower, uh, I think the town is called Kong, or however you pronounce it, there would have been a guy there who, if you talk to, he'd make you fight a battle and then warp you out of the area, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, what we need to do is get the ancient mirror to seal off their power and then we'll be able to do stuff there. See if we can't find a way to stop the source of all this pollution everyone's talking about. Okay, so the mirror is in the desert and that's going to be to the southwest, but I'd rather there not be enemies right in my path on the way there. Okay, that's more like it. So you'll see a hole in the desert, like a quicksand hole or something. Haha, -ha, gotcha. And I've got the light arc on Tokyo's weapon there. Ah, okay. Yeah, you've played this JRPG before, haven't you, Felice? What, they actually have lethal mimics in this game? For boss time against the mimics. Okay, and well, like I said, they're lethal. So you want everyone to be using Death Guard for this one. And unless they take both of their turns before you do, keep on using Death Guard. Uh, use it on yourself, because if they're going to use instant death after you take your turn, then they will be targeting you. Seems kind of odd that they give Death Guard to Tokyo, also. I mean, well, I guess he is a ninja, but still. And let's see, the other thing these guys can do is they can poison you with their physical attacks. So you want to watch out for that. Hmm, let's see. Let's go with a speed spell on Tokyo. He could use the help. Let's see, the Mimics, they have 110 speed, so if I could get up to... Like 121, that'd be pretty good. Okay, good, good. Even with the silent check, we're doing pretty good there. All right, well then, let's... Oh, wait, no. I was going to say give him some power, but... No, actually, we should, like, try and keep him alive. <laughs> yeah, another advantage of using Magnesia here is that if you get poisoned, well, you'll be able to deal with it. Other than, you know, using antidotes. And that's another advantage of using police, too, is that she has the cure spell as well. Hmm, let's see. Actually, you know what? Let's get a little more power there. Could use a little more help in that area. Now, by the way, I gave the... <laughs> that would have been close. I gave the power arc to Maesia and the Wisdom Arc to Tokyo, and I want Tokyo to have more accuracy in... I meant to use Power Wave there, but okay, let's try that game. Let's try that one again. Hit the guy. Thank you! Okay. Now we're in good shape. They don't have any multi-targeting attacks, so I'm not worried about Maesia getting hit there, but I am now. So, yeah, high health, that restores 180 HP, if I recall correctly. Gets the job done. And one more illusion strike, just in case I somehow miss 99% accuracy again. But all right. Easy enough. Kind of weird having the boss at the beginning of the dungeon, but okay. Let's see. Okay, so now we're done with Tokyo there. So let's move the Wisdom Arc to Kamawu. 
I'm not even going to change the light arc, because I'm going to bring in Tokyo again later, and physical attacks aren't going to be too useful here. I still want to hold on to Maesia, though, because pretty much every enemy here can petrify you. And if they petrify uh, Leafs there, I want to be able to do something about it. Now, there's a chest to the right there. So, yeah, you gotta kind of take a roundabout way to get to it. Because these... What are they? These sort of conveyor belts only take you in one direction. So that's how you're supposed to get around to this place. And it can be a little confusing because all the intersections kind of look the same. Without a chest there to indicate or be like a landmark or something. Well, I guess you got these little stones in the middle of the place. But alright, let's see. I need to go down four and right one. After fighting a new enemy. Okay, let's see. This guy... Big Golem! And they've got all the enemies here have a lot of HP. So, let's get Aura going on Kamui to boost his magic stats so he can take them out with his kill spell there. And also, the Big Golem has 70% resistance to all elements. That's another reason why I'm not using Mirian here. Because, oh, it's called Bi... Oh. Huh. They translated it that way, huh? <laughs> I didn't notice that before. I thought they were called Big Golem. But, okay. So, yeah. Th that guy has like 450 HP. Holy cow. Okay, let's see what we can do about our health a little bit. Yes. Help yourself there. And we're back on track. And now we can just go straight to the end. And these enemies can't even keep up with the... Well, I don't know if this is exactly quicksand, but... Well, they can't keep up with me. But alright. Okay, we made it to the cave here. So, first things first, let's bring Tokyo back. This time, I want to use the power arc on him. I want Tokyo in the second position, so he'll take a, a bit less hits. And what was that? Yeah, because he doesn't have as much HP as the others, too, if I recall correctly. Okay, let's give the light arc to... No, 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 no. Not there. I want... Oh, I already got it there. Okay. Uh, I, I meant to do that. Carry on. Yeah, just bring in Tokyo and we'll be good to go. Now, we got this rock here that's in our way. We can't even push it out of the way. Whatever shall we do? Well, what you're supposed to do is examine the statues here and we got three of them. And, well, we got boss time here. Okay, let's see. Stone Dragon has 110. Uh, speed. So if I could get up to like 121, that would be pretty good. You could have Tokyo use speed on himself if you wanted to. Now, if you're not quite as leveled as I am, you may want to use Lux instead of Kamui there. Let's see, Stone Dragons only have 40% resistance to all elements, so magic is still a pretty good way to go here. So I'd like to go with Blizzard Hole, which you learn at level 22, if I recall correctly, which is, I'm barely there. But if you don't have a Blizzard Hole, I would recommend using Lux to use Blast Bomb. That's 200 damage to a single target, while Blizzard Hole is 240. Although, of course, it gets modified by the elemental resistance of the target there. And, yeah, they can use Hurricane on you. They don't seem to do that too often, but you want to watch out for that. Not a whole lot we can do to resist that. I mean, I guess we got, like, the Magic Mirror spell for Mirian, but she wouldn't really be able to hurt these guys nearly as much. Her single targeting magic, not so good. So, what you're supposed to do here is we got the three statues. Only one of them is the real one and if you defeat it it destroys the rock you can move on hooray 
If you examine any of the other statues that isn't the right one, it won't remove the rock, and you'll have to fight the other one or two of them in order to figure out which one is real. So I'll just tell you which one it is. And it was the right one in the previous one. Here, it's going to be the middle one, but I do need to heal up so that I can possibly use Power Wave. Wow, those guys really hurt me. You want to watch out for your MP a little bit too, because, especially for Felice, because yeah, we can't use the crystal. Yeah, we can't use that to get out of here. So let's see, this one is the middle. All right, took care of that one. After that battle, we gained a level for Maesia to learn Freezing Hell, the most powerful multi-targeting spell in the game. It's 190 damage, all enemies. But, as you can see, it's very expensive. So, I'm probably not going to be using that too often. But, it is there, and it is really powerful. Yeah, not very cost efficient, though, I'm afraid. Let's see, for the next statues, I want the one on the right. Yeah, that is one nice thing about Kamuwu's spells, like Blizzard Hole, the single targeting ones. They are very cost efficient. Okay, let's see. For this one, we need the left statue. Alright, and after that battle there, let's see. Mirian gained a level to learn Blackout, one of my favorite spells in the game. Guaranteed instant death to a single target. Unlike the kill spell that actually... Uh, what is it? Yeah, that actually checks against the enemy's magic stat relative to your own. Or relative to your own. Yeah, Blackout is really, really good for dealing with high magic defense enemies and generally enemies that have instant death of their own. So usually I don't quite have it by now, but well, it could be useful against those glow tolls. By the way, it doesn't work against bosses, but I suppose it should be obvious. <laughs> yeah, having instant death that works against bosses? <laughs> okay, for this statue, we need the middle one. All right. That's the last of them. Well, sort of, you'll see. And we got three statues here, but if you fight any of them, the rock will still be in your way. Whatever shall we do? Well, this one is kind of a dick move. Unlike all the other rocks, this one you can actually just push out of your way the old-fashioned way. So, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. But all right, we got the ancient mirror here. Let's get out of here, get back to Kumu and... See what Sirius can tell us about the mirror. Let's see, as far as my party coming up here, I'm, I think I'm gonna go back to what I had before with, yeah, Mirian and Kamuwu. Yeah, the enemies in that previous dungeon there, yeah, they're not gonna be showing up again. I don't think, anyway. And I think I need to put the light arc back on the Toll Axe. We're not gonna be using Tokyo again for a little while. Man, we're getting everyone in on the action here. We're even going to be using uh, Reshine later on in this world. Or I'm going to be using her anyway. Should be pretty good there. And let's see. Did I? No, I need to move the... What is that thing? Yeah, the star earring. I want to give that back to Mirian there. Might as well trade for one of those bottles there. I want to keep an inventory slot avail open for Mirian because we're going to find a new piece of equipment for her where we're going next. And let's see, I think that should be good. I don't want to use the silent shackle for random battles at this point because the enemies in the second half of the game here are, well, they got a lot of speed and I don't want to be casting it all the time. And every now and then, sure, I can understand, but... I'm a little bit underleveled relative to the enemies, but that shouldn't be a problem. Okay, how's it going? Wow, that's a low price! Oh, okay. Yeah, I get excited too whenever I make a discovery like this if I'm when I'm doing my test runs and all that. What's with the book? 
didn't we already know that? Oh, maybe. Well, let's give it a shot. Will the mirror work on him? Let's find out. So now we got to go back to the, well, in the direction of the Lakeside Tower and get up to the town there. By the way, if you run into more of those glow tolls, what I like to do now is use Death Guard first with Felice. And then if they haven't taken their turn yet, I would use Blackout against them. Because they do have quite a bit of a uh, magic stat there to resist kill. And I'd like to take as few turns as possible before taking or before they can potentially get their turn. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, right, I just rested up at the end. We'll be good to go. Hey, how's it going, buddy? What did that do? Ah, hey. Yeah, so if you came here earlier and talked to the guy, it would throw you, that lightning would throw you into a random battle, and then you'd get kicked out of the place anyway. For mini-boss time against the clone, I think is what they call this guy. Okay, but fortunately this guy does not have a whole lot of HP. Let's see, don't use thunder magic on the guy. He has pretty high resistance to it, but other than that, I think we'll be fine. Let's see, I'm thinking if I want to use blizzard hole against the guy, yeah, that would be a good idea. I mean, we're going to be using instant death a lot more at this point in the game because the enemies start getting quite a bit of HP. But for now, we can just go ahead and not worry about the MP that much. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Fireball. I was thinking about maybe having Kamalu use Blizzard Hole again, but I want to... Well, we've almost got the guy dead anyway. So. Ah, no. Okay, we can try that again. Someone hit the guy! Thank you! Yeah, the guy does have 130 speed, so I could have used a speed spell, but he only has, like, what, 300 HP, I think? So, yeah, I... Well, at the time, I didn't think it was worthwhile, but no! One time, I try to catch a break doesn't happen. Okay. Well, anyway. That nice. Well, at least we got past that guy there. So, let's see. Yeah, I think a good more health spell. Then we'll be good to go. But can we find a way to stop the pollution that the ancients are spreading all over the world? Find out next time on Let's Play Mystic Arc. This is the Chi Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!